Here she is as is. Yesterday my videos didn't save, so I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough. I installed the front wall studs yesterday. I just glued and screwed them in. There's nothing in the bottom besides glue. Zigzag screws up both sides, countersunk. I'm gonna plug these with wood dowels, sand them down. Same techniques for the top. Um, I've got wood jacks under, installed underneath now so that the whole of the wings are level. I've got my angle supports. I mean, this thing's not going anywhere. I did the back two on that side. I ran out of wood, so I got some more this morning. I got some sealant for the outside. I'm gonna seal the coat the entire skeletal framing in this. And then after that, it's time to start putting up the cedar. But yeah, I mean, you shake this thing, it's not going anywhere. I'm very excited, I'm very happy. It's not perfect, but I think it's structurally sound and it looks dope and that's where we're at. Got the last two angle supports in the back section. Not perfect, but good enough. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to sand off any pencil marks, any dirt marks, and then I'm going to take that, this uh, spar urethane exterior water base crystal clear satin i'm gonna paint the entire structure so that it's water resistant moisture resistant mold res uh, resistant all that jazz and then once that's dry this thing is ready for its cedar siding
Last one. That's it, that's a wrap, 17 today, 20 yesterday, and six the day before, total of 43 boards. I don't think I'll be using all of them. Some of them turned out better than others. That way, you know, now I can get to pick and choose. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, sorry, I just spit on you a little bit. That's a wrap. California fires are gone. It's oppressively hot out here. Again, this is day three. I've been here since 7 a.m. I'm dripping sweat. I mean, look at my hands. All in all, I'd say it was worth it. These things look so much better. Um, if you're willing to put in the work, I'd say do it. Otherwise, you're gonna be finishing it with you know, a lac or whatever it is, wood finisher, um, which I'm not familiar with. But this is super easy. I just watched a few YouTube videos. Blowtorch was 50 bucks. Propane tank I already had for my um, barbecue. Saw horses with my dad's. Get the metal ones so you don't burn them. Easy Up was $40 from Walmart. Um, use the spray bottle. I think it helps with warping as you're burning it because when you burn the fibers on one side and the other side isn't being burned, the side that's burning will tighten so it'll kind of curve the board up. Like imagine if you have burn scars or skin tightens. So if the top side is tightening and the bottom is still loose, it's gonna you know bend up. Apparently spraying it as you go. I don't know if you saw me, but I had a blowtorch over my shoulder and then I was spraying as I was burning so that it wouldn't get too hot and constrict too much. But um, they also said just let them sit for a couple days afterwards and they'll straighten back out. I'm gonna stack these all up again, maybe put some heavier wood on top as weights and then. Um, Tomorrow should begin assembly, screwing in the wall studs, gluing, getting the whole structure, and then after that, um, applying these bad boys. So the interior, I'm keeping the raw cedar. I'm gonna have to clean up the insides once it's built, um, but I'm doing that because I don't want the inside to be a dark dungeon. I'd rather have it be more open and airy. There's only two windows, so I don't want it to feel, you know, binding and oppressive so I'm gonna clean up here that's a wrap for today I don't even think it's 10 o'clock yet um, it's gonna be in the hundreds so I'm trying to get home get a shower get all this off and uh, start thinking about tomorrow <laughs>